he's anti-establishment. I think more people need a voice, like Doug Ford and a heavy hitter to come out. Which camera's the best? <laughs> the camera <laughs> you know? will find you, Bobby. Yeah. You just talk okay. to me. So, I like Doug Ford. He he ran a great campaign. Did you vote for him? For, yes, sir. Number one. You, he, were, you had no problems voting? Yeah, well, I was actually, if you looked at my Twitter feed, because uh, I look at yours a lot, you're like a professor to me. It's like a dream come true coming on TV with you. I actually stayed up late at night and made instructions of how to do it, put it down, retweet, sent it to Doug's account. He retweeted it out. So I was indirectly helping everybody with this process. So you did you did Doug Ford number one. Yeah. Did you vote number two? Yeah, Elliot was my number two because she uh, she has a lot of experience. I think, you know. Who'd you do number three? I took Granick Allen. Okay, so you don't need and did there? you vote for Caroline? I put Caroline at number four number just four. Just because, okay, you know, well, go she kind of just walked onto there. the scene. I think potentially Apparently, she has the most massive, upside and potentially one day could be prime minister. Forget premier. Hey, as Brian Maroney said, anybody can sit uh, in Queen's like, Park. <laughs> you see that one? <laughs> so, Bobby, tell me this. Yeah. Uh, we've had a few guests on our get together here already say yeah. they weren't keen on Doug Ford's personal attacks against Christine Elliott. Why did he do it? Uh, which specifically are you referring to? Well, during the two, during the certainly during the Ottawa leaders debate uh, that Althea Raj moderated, right? He came out hard and said, "Which Christine Elliott are we going to get? The one who was against the carbon tax or for it? You know, the one who was for sex ed or against sex ed? The one who took a patronage appointment from <laughs> Kathleen Wynne or didn't? I mean, he hit hard, and she was really upset about that. Well, Steve, you know what? To be honest, I think it was fair for him to do that. I know sometimes if we were going, if we were in a boxing ring, you'd be trying to knock me out. And, and you'd be doing the same, and at the end, maybe you'd buy me a beer, I'd buy you a beer. But if you looked, we had a good video, which proved on your show that she, she had said different things, and we posted it, hashtagged it out, let's get it done. The rest is history. Doug was dead to right. He had her out at the plate on that one. One, two, three, it's over, and that was it. We had her. Tell me this. The Angus Reid polling organization came out with some numbers a few days ago. That's right. And right, the numbers that. showed that if Christian yeah. Elliott is the leader, the numbers of people who would consider voting progressive conservative gets bigger. Right. If Mulroney is the leader, it gets bigger, although not as much. If Ford is the leader, the universe of potential conservative voters gets cut in half. Are you not concerned about that? I'm a little concerned about that, but the problem is, I, the way I see it is, I don't want to attack the media here, but the media has been always uh, throwing little barbs and jabs. I think it can even be done with polls. I will speak to it like this. I don't want to take a slobber knocker on TV here. Overall, I think the executive looked at it and Christine Elliott overall matches up best against Wynn. From the beginning, I told Doug, straight to his face, on the phone, I said, look, they want a woman to go against Wynn. You're polling at 11%. He said, no, it's just the media. I want to run. So he said, let's turn the ship around. We turned the ship around. He ran the, ran the best campaign. But overall, she does match up best against Kathleen Wynne, and uh, that's potentially maybe part of the reason for Angus Reid. I'm not an expert on polling like Nick Cavallis or uh, what's the other fellow's name? Greg Nick, Lyle. Oh, Greg Thank Lyle you. as well, or Thank Nick you. Nanos. I study your, your show a lot. You've been <laughs> very helpful. Steve Pakins helped me uh, learn a lot about politics. Bobby, tell me this. If, if Doug Ford is the leader of this party after today is over, do you think that enhances or doesn't the chance of the PCs winning the next election? You know what? For me, it's not about that. I think any one of them beats her straight up. Kathleen Wynne. Uh, but in terms of, it is somewhat risky in terms of that he's a guy and she can play that card on being bullied. So I think the, the way the executive looks at it, they would kind of like a woman overall to go against Kathleen Wynne. That's my personal opinion, not confirmed. But maybe that's why they cut it short. You know, in court the other day, they cut it short. I would have liked to see a lot more people able to vote. Overall, Ford had the faster car. It looks like he's getting a little blocked. It's like Daytona. He's receiving some blocks on the outside. But overall, Doug Ford, he has nothing to hang his head about if he comes in second today. I'm praying that he can win it. Bobby, I, I, I want to just say for the record, because you and I met for the first time today. Right. But you and I have known each other on Twitter for a little while A little here, while. And you're a guy who loves to take shots on me on Twitter. I do. And I'll tell you something. I enjoy it. So thanks for coming on. But I defend <laughs> you when, when I need to. You, you and when me, you're right. You give me that handshake there, pal. Because you're still the best in the business, <laughs> 35 years, and I want a copy of that book on <laughs> William Davis. They're, they're available at bookstores everywhere. Okay, I got $45 <laughs> right now. I can pay you. That's okay. <laughs> Have a seat. We're going to unmic you, and then we're going to get somebody else. I, I got $45. That's, that's Bobby Armstrong.
who is a tweeter extraordinaire, <laughs> political activist, and as you saw, uh, in favor of Team Ford for this leadership event. Okay, we're going to get another uh, uh, interviewee in that chair in just a second, but let's bring you up to speed on what's going on. If you just joined us, it's 4 o'clock Eastern Time uh, here in Markham, Ontario, where uh, we are assembled along with... Uh,